was I was determined to have soft on soft. And uh, when I made, when I had that mold made, I took uh, Vaseline, smeared it all around the, the detail of it. I took a heat gun to make sure it would, you know, melt, melt in. And I squirted that orange silicone. later with a, a heat lamp and uh, ready to pop out. I know in the past you posted that you you've lit at the uh, ash or the, the hanging grade area there <laughs> you didn't have to because of the conditions you had, which uh, you obviously had to get that moved down low. Pretty fun. Did you bring it? Bring it right? Yeah. Usually you'll see no uh, no sign of it burning. Sweet uh, smell of pyrolysis. Yeah. Sweet smell of pyrolysis. <laughs> first I saw that it burned right on the top. The far you saw might have been from there never on the road. So, still think we don't have a good chart. We work. Sounds like a plan. Are you on wood now? Wood or gasoline? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
There he is. He's got the now. This is a 95 Dakota. Right there. I picked up from Tennessee and I live in Michigan. I did get the uh, only wood gas license plate from Michigan. And uh, mine is a classic Wayne Keith design. Uh, this is actually just how his cooling rails were uh, from the book. And uh, the only change I have is that on my lid, I use a, uh, a high temp silicone for the upper and lower portions of that lid to uh, uh, seal it off. And uh, this thing was running. What's that lid off of? Uh, it's off a uh, <laughs> stove top kitchen cooker. <laughs> no, nothing too special there. I just went with something that, uh, based on its dome shape, I figured that the condensate would always automatically drain down to the outsides. Because uh, in the past, Wayne has even used a flat lid to uh, cover inside the unit to try to encourage the condensate to go to the sides. So this will kind of do it with just the lid. Hey, Barry. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. no, I've got digital gauges in there. Uh, monitor three different temperatures and how much power is going to the fuel pump. And I operate blowers off these switches plus the switches. And the, the under hood is the same as Wayne's truck. You get her done? Need something? So, uh, I'm a very new person. And, uh, Owning and running the gas fire system, but there's all kinds of help uh, from this group that uh, they'll answer any question you have. <laughs> you just uh, have to have the initiative to be a, a builder and uh, keep in mind that uh, you have to be um, persistent about you know looking for fuel sources. And things are just going to fall on you naturally, but overall, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, the truck runs good. What part of it do you think gives you the most trouble? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I set the timing up so it would retard into advance. So with wood gas, you need an advanced situation. So it's, it's just that's, that's a small change. I thought was having trouble with the gas fire, but found out it was the gas fire. The one day we the time on this one. We made the bottle trucks. If you don't advance the time, you just go running very lazy and it took us a while to figure it out. We just figured out what it was. Uh, Gary and uh, myself had to come to our trucks to look which way the distributor turned. We learned that Doug turned his the opposite way so we found what the problem was. It was gas fire it was it was Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You got it to kick to start now? The cable came off the controller inside the truck. But it's fixed.